Hi, I want to welcome you to the global stage. Let's look at what to do when you start experiencing persistent erectile dysfunction or weak erection during sex. We've already talked about the real reasons you may be experiencing erectile dysfunction. Check that video out if you have not watched it yet. So what do you do when you start experiencing persistent erectile dysfunction? The first thing is to look at your diet. Check your diet. Always remember that you are what you eat. So eat right. In the Massachusetts uh, Male Aging Study, eating a diet rich in natural foods like the fruits, vegetables, whole grains and fish with fewer red meats and processed foods decrease the likelihood of erectile dysfunction. So cut down or cut off completely processed sugar, sweet meals, sugary pastries and soft drinks or drinks that, are, that contain high calories okay, and other related sugars because sugar reduces the good male hormones and increases negative hormones as well and sugar has effect a negative effect on your vessels and then on your nerves and this play important role in the process of erection also avoid alcohol and one of the things you must do if you're experiencing weak erection is to take one boiled egg every day boiled egg every day helps with your male hormones it boosts your male hormones and therefore also helps with your erection as well and then lastly, watermelon is really good for one who has an erectile dysfunction. Watermelon increases your hydration and also leads to nitric oxide production. And nitric oxide helps increase or, or dilate your vessels, helping, helping blood pump up to your penis, which is good for sustaining an erection. Then there is adequate rest. You see, a good percentage of your testosterone, which is your male hormones, production happens when you sleep. The less hours you sleep, the more the male hormones drop, okay? So an uninterrupted sleep is really good for erection. So don't take drinks, especially those high in calories or water close to your sleep times. Avoid your phones, putting your phones closer to you. Avoid heavy meals, no light when you sleep so you can have uninterrupted sleep. And personally, I recommend to my patient that the best times to have sex is after a good sleep precisely early in the morning or even at dawn because having sex at night is good all right but because of the long day stress of work the hassle and bustle of the day your body is tired so when you have sex at night you don't really get the, get enough erection as you want so the best time is to have it when you have slept enough or even at dawn so that's what i advise my patient who have weak erection the best time to have sex is after sleep or are done then the one of the most important thing you must do if you're experiencing weak erection is or if you want to prevent ever having persistent erectile dysfunction is to perform what we call kegel exercise kegel exercise is really important because a strong pelvic floor enhances your rigidity during erection and helps keep blood from leaving your penis by pressing on key veins okay and in a british trial three months of twice daily set of kegel exercise which strengthens the muscles combined with biofeedback and advice on lifestyle changes that is quitting smoking, losing weight, limiting alcohol worked far better than just advice on lifestyle changes. And kicking exercise helps strengthen the muscles around your pelvic region and your groin region, that is your groin area. And remember, your pelvic region is involved in the act of sex. And so this exercise strengthens the muscles and increases blood flow to the penis for good period of erection. And do this several times in a week for months. This will help you with your weak erection. And I put in the description below links to how to perform a Kegel exercise. It's one of the best if you are suffering from erectile dysfunction or weak erection during sex. Or even if you don't have erectile dysfunction and you want to improve on your sex life, Kegel exercise is one of the best things I recommend for you to do. It's very important. Kegel exercise. Check the link under the under the description of this video to see how you can perform kegel exercise and then also get physically active as a man and the good ones are called resistant exercise or high intensity internal exercise and they include the push-ups the liftings the squatting the pull-ups the lifting the dumbbells it's very important if you want to strengthen your muscles and increase your ability to sustain erection for a very long time during sex and because you see size matters a lot so get slim and stay slim the heavier you get the the lesser you experience the lesser 
your erection. So get slim and maintain your slim. Obesity raises the risk of vascular diseases such as the diabetes and the high blood pressure. And these two are the main causes of erectile dysfunction, diabetes and vascular diseases. And so when you stay slim, you reduce weight and help with your diabetes by improving on your erection. Okay, because fat interferes with several hormones and they, and they may have an impact that is a negative impact on your erection. So these are the things you must do if you are experiencing erectile dysfunction and not go for the drugs because the drugs have a lot of side effects. So these are the natural ways you can deal with your erection as a man or even improve on your erection as a man. And one of the last thing I would li like to tell you is to avoid porn sites and porn magazines if you are in the habit of doing that and also if you are experiencing if you do a lot of masturbation masturbation has physical and psychological effects and they also have a negative effect on your erection so avoid porn sites and porn mannequins and then seek for counsel if you cannot stop masturbation once you do that it will improve on your sexual performance in bed this is the end of our discussion kindly give us a like so that youtube can push this video to many people as possible and share with us in the comment section of this video any natural remedy for erectile dysfunction that I didn't mention. And share this with your loved ones, especially the men. Hey, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. God bless you. The stage.